Can I finally get to this goddamn planetoid? <sighs> Please, for all that's holy, get me there. <sighs> we made it. Tithe grade. I don't know what this means. Uh-huh. 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 Ricardi Filia. Yes. There, please. Yes, we are good. I'm still short somebody, but we're good. Hopefully we'll find somebody here! I'm pretty sure Heimrichs, that's his name, right? Must be a companion. Surely he's a companion. But I think I'm gonna find him on the, um, Rakab Menoris. I don't think I'm gonna find him here in the prison. Why are we at the prison? Is this for the engine seat? Engine seer? Engine whatever the fuck he's called? Bear with me. Oh, no. Yes, no. Machine spirit keeper. Engine seer. Okay, we must find them here because that one's related to Rikad Minoris. So this one, we must be finding an engine seer here in the prison. But we will also inquire about uh, Heinrichs' location. Heinrichs von Kellux. Oh, fantastic. Loot immediately. I don't know what to do with this shit. It just sits there and accumulates and I have to get off. But this game is addictive and I want to just keep Attention going. To detail is the key to success. Oh, that's nice. But, oh, bro, that's so far away. Come in, come in, escort. This is Captain Zakari. Escort, please come in. Are you talking to these people over here? Pilot Raquel. Raquel, Raquel, Raquel. This is a woman, so it'd be Raquel. What am I saying? It's Raquel. Usually it's double L-E. At least that's how I've seen it in the past. The pale young woman looks at you with a mixture of hope and disbelief swelling in her eyes. You, why does every place in this bloody universe have issues? You notice her hands trembling as she clutches the weapon. Who are you? Did you come from the planet? Are you reinforcements? Saints teeth, I thought you'd never come. Abelard, you just riffraff the proper way of addressing her sovereign. But I'm not her sovereign. Isn't isn't this area under winter scales protection? I'm not her sovereign. Tell me about this planetoid. Uh, seems a bit weird to start there. What happened here? Nope, I have no time for long with the talks. Brief me on the situation ahead and do be concise. Reporting. There's been a prison riot. Of course there has been. I wouldn't have there been one. On the planetoid, led by the prison warden himself. Oh, charming. That sounds delightful. I can't wait to walk into that. My lord, Evain Winterscale, son of rogue trader Caligos Winterscale. I was about to say, that wasn't his name. I don't remember in Evain. <laughs> no, it's Caligos. Uh, went to parlay with it. <gasps> Do I have to go protect Winterscale's son now? Is he going to blame me if he dies? <sighs> Why is life so hard? The warden himself is spearheading the riot. Find Evain Winterscale. Find Warden Cast Casteglia. Yes, she bites her lip. No one expected this. Master Casteglia. Casteglia? C mm, I don't know. As a nobleman from a respected governor house and a vassal to House Winterscale. All of a sudden, he proclaimed that Riccardi Filia was now his personal domain, that the prisoners were his subjects, and that he would never bow to anyone again. It's pure heresy. Damn straight it is, and I'm going to put that dog down. And they take it they are looking forward to a diet of sand and gravel? What kind of madman would start a revolt on a barren rock? Ooh, I dare asking the really important questions. Why would young Winterscale have felt the need to parlay with the dissidents? She sighs quietly. It's a personal matter. Master Casteglia, the seditious warden, is Lord Evain's chanted friend. That, that just boggles the mind. Then why is he revolting? I mean, he's revolting, but like, verb, revolting. When my lord heard of the riot, the news saddened him greatly, and so he rushed here without delay, in hopes of bringing his old friend to his senses, no doubt. The first winter scale in my memory, he prefers to talk first rather than shoot and slash. Oh, hey, there's progress in the, uh, generations. She smiles faintly. Young Lord Winterscale is not his father's shadow. Oh, this makes me want to save him even more. If he is determined to save his friend, he won't back down. I pray to the throne that he is alive and well. He's been gone for such a long time, and I really don't like this place. 
Katia frowns in confusion. Theobald executed his wife and only son on the mere suspicion of treason against Household Salio. So why did the noble evade? Sorry, I was distracted by this color over here. I don't know what it is. Is it sand? It looks pretty cool. So why did the noble Yvain rush to save someone who had betrayed his house? Do bonds of friendship give one the right to make inexcusable mistakes? <laughs> Ooh, look. Life is a little more complicated than you've been led to believe, Cassia. It's going to be a bit of an adjustment on your part. I'm looking for a man. <laughs> just, just, hey, I know you got a crisis, but I'm looking for a guy. I'm looking for a man by the name of Heinrich von Calix. Is he here, perhaps? Unless it's one of the prisoners or guards, then it seems unlikely. Yeah, you're not wrong. I already knew he was going to be on Riker Benoris. There are no shuttles in working order other than yours and mine. There is nothing else that could have any that anyone could have used to reach this place. Is there anything else I should be apprised of before I set out? Some of the rebels have holed up in the barracks. I don't know how many, but given this is the only way through to where the negotiations are taking place, I would expect heavy resistance. Please take caution, your ladyship. Lord Winterscale's guards mined the entrance so that the rebels couldn't get to the shuttle. Ah. Hence the trap two feet to my right. Okay. I have no more questions. You may excuse yourself, pilot. The woman freezes for a moment before asking hesitantly, Your ladyship, if I may have a moment of your time. I wouldn't ever have dared to trouble you with a personal matter, but the situation... In any case, have you been to the capital of Rikard Minoris yet? I have not. I am heading there next after I get my engines here. I want to ask if you saw a man there, a communications officer by the name of Jasper. What is your relationship to this man? We are engaged, your ladyship, she declares somewhat bashfully. Uh, I have not yet been to Rikard Minoris and know nothing of his officer's fate. Remain disdainfully silent. I am a rogue trader, not a messenger girl. I have more pressing matters at hand than indulging a junior officer's curiosity. Okay, I said it all pretentious like. I'm still with number two. That's a shame. May the Emperor keep that full from harm. Thank you for your time, your ladyship. Are you telling me that I should have gone to the other planet first? Urgh. She bows. You can tell by the desperation and eyes that she's exhausted, frightened, and wished to be off this planetoid as soon as possible. I wonder if there are repercussions for doing any of these things in a certain order. That would be amazing if it were repercussions. Like if I go to Rakamonoris last, what's his face? I've already forgotten his name. <laughs> Jasper? Jasper uh, is going to be dead or, you know, some horrible fate has befallen him before I get there because I was delayed in getting there. Just like if I've gone to Narvas Nobility last, it would have been an absolute massacre. Like, these kinds of things would be amazing. And then, and then if I came to the prison last, then Yvain, 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 uh, would be dead from uh, the warden be really cool if this game had these kinds of repercussions, but I'll never know unless I see someone else's playthrough. Okay, so slow Curiosity and steady wins the race. In my veins. Never doubt me. I I never do. Much. Ish. Sometimes. I'm supposed to be getting off, but I'm having way too much fun to get off. We should deal ah. with this. Yeah, d no, 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 no. You know what? You know what? Just, yeah! Is there something you wish to tell me about? Sweet baby Namely Jesus. The mess in the wardroom last week. Oh, we're supposed to be lovely. Ugh, stop blaming me every time one of the officers flies off the handle, old man. Not every brawl or disaster on this ship is because of me. This is all very true. I'm being so careful here. I better myself through yeah. my <laughs> You're making me uneasy. This task should have been accomplished easily. <sighs> I'm not in co Okay, I was about to say, I'm not in combat. How is she supposed to heal? Uh, she's fine. We're not in combat. Okay, as we were. It remains of a meal, one far too lavish for even a hive world, loaded a prison collar. Ew, where is he getting his food from then? Wait, what? Oh no, she has a fresh injury. Oh. It's fine. You guys told me that my wounds remove themselves when I go back to my ship. And I can see that that has indeed happened because Del no longer has her wound, so I'm just going to leave that. A long string of names extends beneath the heading. Top quarry workers of the cycle. She'll be fine. Scraps of two gold prison food, repulsive to the senses. Oh, delightful. 
a book. Prison Diary of Artishan, part one. Oh my word. Grox shit. Why me? Why? I missed my tithe payment 12 years ago. 12 years. The inspector's writ got lost somewhere in the bowels of the planetary administratum. Stratum? And was lying there this whole time. But they made sure to remember to tack on the fines every month. By the time they found the blasted paper and finally informed me, the total sum was so obscene it would take three generations of my descendants, if I had any, to pay it off. My fate was sealed. Trial, sentence, prison. Or well, because of some daft rotter who shoved my paper in the wrong box. Ooh, Artie, Sean, I feel so sorry for you. That's, that's, that's shit. You have really bad luck. To be fair, I think I got off pretty easy. My bed in the barracks is about as hard as that slab of rock crate I, I've got at home. Working in the quarry isn't much tougher than at my old job. And the rules, which take me, that old sod that governs Riker Minoris is a bloody sadist by comparison. It's a strange old place. I haven't been beaten once yet. The guards bark orders all the time, but they never hit us. They also got this kind of inner circle of special chosen prisoners. The optimatum, they call it. If you can get in, Emperor is my witness, you can get an actual day off. They let you out of your cell and into the yard by the big barracks. And I tell you what, they let you rest there and feed you better than whatever swill they're giving us in the canteen. They tell me it's to improve our motivation and all that. To foster a strong desire to reform and become a worthy servant of the Imperium once more. But I know it for what it is. Just a club of the Warden's favourites. Same story as everywhere else. Suck up to the people in power and get some swanky perks. I say the whole thing was the Warden's idea. Funny man, our Warden. He looks more noble than nobility itself. Tall, groomed, teeth even. Eyes burning, boots so polished you can see yourself when you move to lick them. Ew. But that Nutter doesn't much want people licking his boots. Nor do I. He walks around looking like he's deep in thought, all right, with only a couple of guards at his side. And he sometimes, if you can believe it, talks to prisoners. What's your name? He asks them more quiet like. Why were you condemned? Do you feel remorse? Have you... He never even yells at no one. That this is great English. I suppose he's not a very educated man. Never orders to have him flogged. Instead, he doles rewards out to the special ones. Keeps telling us things like how we should strive to make society believe in us again. Uh-huh. Whatever you say, Master Warden. Starting tomorrow, I'll be trying to join these optimates of yours. I'm stuck in here till the day I die, and that means no return to society for me. But with the Emperor's help, I might just join the ranks of the local elite. Good for you, sir. I know I need to level, but I also need to get off. So, you know, there's that. Ah, Hi. Annoyance. The Emperor is with us! Cassie is an officer and your ship's navigator. She strikes foes with energies of the warp and supports the party by making her allies stronger. Voice of Commander's officer ability that increases an ally's characteristics for one round and allow, also allows the officer to use their other officer archetype abilities on that ally from any distance. The higher the officer's fellowship bonus is, the more the target's characteristics are increased. That's cute, but I ain't doing that. Bring it down. That lets them immediately pass their turn to an ally. It does blah blah. So if the end of the turn, they get momentum for the skill. This is a unique damaging ability. Yep, I already know. You've been ambushed. The is it really an ambush if you're expecting an attack? I ask you. Our idea is going to go first. God, Abelard, bro, I need a better tank than you because your initiative sucks. But anyway. You may go as far forward. Oh, 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 I can't move because we've been ambushed. Ah, I see. Okay, Adira. Uh, uh, can you be a peach? You can only hit two at a time, I feel. If you go there, you could then use that on him. Oh, we get the dude behind as well. Oh, that's delightful. Okay, so I know what commit to wrong. that. You need to leave two actions remaining. So you're going to analyze somebody. This gentleman in the back, because he's going to live the longest of this, right? And then 
You have one action still remaining. Uh, forewarning. Oh, look, you probably need it on yourself. You do. <laughs> You're probably going to get hit. And then if you could be so kind. Anything is. Nope, that's it. What an unfortunate turn of fate. Two deaths. I'd love to see it. Oh, I was supposed to level before I got in combat too. Uh, Del, you are really... Hmm. Yeah. So. We should probably focus on healing people. Uh, healing. Uh, allying ourselves with other people. Okay, so you need two actions to do that. It's not going to hit that guy because he's got cover. But anyway. You know what, Adira? You are in a good position to whack somebody. Please whack somebody. Oh, Lord, is my muse. Now, could you be so kind as to repeat that? Oh, you could hurt yourself. Oh dear. There you go. Get rid of him. Well, well. That worked out quite nicely. And you can't use that. Back to me. Now, Del. Wait, there are six enemies? What? Oh, I didn't even see y'all. Is this door going to come? Is this a door? And is it going to come open? Oh, oh, oh. I didn't realize we could have. Oh, no. I didn't realize. Is there a way to hit him and hit nobody else? Yes. Brilliant. <gasps> Genius at work. Genius you may be, but you're bloody terrible at your job. Okay. Go, Agenta. Huh. Let's see. Okay, can they get through here? Oh, they're just gonna just a throw second. something through it. No, here we go. Abelard. No, okay, they have to get around. Um, could you be a peach and get up? Agenta. You first. You certainly are. Oh, that's worth it. Ooh. Ooh. That's just not going to work, is it? <sighs> Damn. I can get you guys. Okay, so if you were to go here and then you were to do this, you could get absolutely everybody. Oh, that's delightful. Oh, well, you would have been delightful had that I'll worked. Do it. Doesn't quite work when you have uh, no attacks left. Whoops. Yeah, that's my fault. Next time. We'll get him next time. Cassia. Actually, you can do the exact same thing. Come here, dear. And then do your voice. You live the stair, sorry. Completely different thing. Step aside. The navigator is coming. <laughs> Ah, you succeeded, Grenadia Captain. I don't like that. Actually, Agenta, would you like to be a peach and go for round two? No, we've only got two actions. Use them wisely. As the Emperor commands, I act. <laughs> Close enough. We'll take it. Oh, we're so close. But enemies are not within a certain amount. Okay. Ooh. Oh, we got momentum. Minus our heroic act. One friendly creature under the range. The officer grants an ally an extra turn with full AP and MP. During the extra turn, there is no attack limit. Uh, who wants it? This situation's kind of annoying me, but Abelard being there is not ideal. Maybe Abelard. Let's go to. Mm, let's go 
good to have a lad. You need to get up, honey. Oh, you can't. That is foolish. Because you can't act. Okay, I did that. <laughs> Time to go field. again, honey. Doubt is for the weak. Okay. Hi, sir. Faith We're going for round two. Beautiful. We're gonna reload that bad boy. Um. Five solo. One, two, three, four. Nah, honey. That's not really gonna work much for you. Okay. You're done, Cassia. I appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, so he spends his entire turn getting up. Oh, so does he. Yeah. Yeah, excuse me? You're just gonna kick me? Rude. Um, okay. Well, um, we're going to have to just do this uh, as much as I would like to do other cool shit. We're gonna analyze... If I'll fully kill that person, it won't fully kill that person. Let's analyze this douche nozzle. And then scream at him. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. Will do. I did such pathetic damage. Oh, that hurts. Sir. No can do. On it. Okay. And then Abelard seems to be the target, we so we'll protect Abelard. Me. God damn it. I need Abelard to just not be there. Is there anywhere I can move that I'm not going to hit Abelard? Can't burst fire them from that close. Hmm. What if I were to move there and burst fire? Still too close. <sighs> well, poo. I don't like that. That's really shit. Abelard, honey, be a peach and just sort this situation out. It's just not working for me. Victory is imminent. What? You are target. Brace for impact, sir. Okay. Back to me. Uh, you know what? Were you already my voice of command? You know what? Screw it. We're gonna we're gonna shoot. We're just gonna shoot and do barely any damage. I should have shot on these. This dude over here. I have the range. Alright. Watch out for that, ladies. Oh, nice. Where the hell do you think you're going? Blood. They enjoy kicking you. Indeed. Um. Ugh, this is a bit of a shitty position. Um, I can get him. If you want to focus on him. Oh, you can't get him from this angle. That's sucky. In that case, do you even need to bother with that? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Um. Mm. Can you get him from here? Yes. Run and gun. You get movement points, the next attack costs an appeal less, and does not count towards the attack limit per turn. Okay, let's do that. Oh, I didn't want you to move, but I guess that's done now. I'll do it. You disappear. Are you shitting me after all of that it didn't kill him? None can escape the Emperor's that. I muffed that. I wanted to move her this way, but just because I had already pressed that and I didn't remember that I pressed that, that kind of screwed me over. Okay, just a single burst this guy, please. Thank 
Thank you. Appreciate that. You sure you can't get this guy? I refuse. No line of sight. Well, he can throw bombs at me, so he clearly has a line of sight. She's killed enough people. Are winning? Cassia, do you have line of sight to this gentleman? Can you ever have line of sight to this gentleman? Do you need line of sight for your lipless? Yes, you do. Mm, okay. Well, if that's the case... Ugh, no movement points. Shit. Oh, that's not going to help anybody. Wait, he can charge. Do not dare ask. The target is too far. Okay, well, dear. Please be a peach. Come here. Give him a bonus. I have read tomes of military tactics. And he can charge... to here. I will do my duty. He at least gains some movement. Which is more than we can do. I am a navigator, not a servitor. And now you've broken charge. Or not. I bet you just move organically. And then charge. Into this guy. Yeah. Tried and tested do that. tactics are the best one. Yeah. How? Look at that. Zero enemies remaining. Beautiful. Oh, one step at a time. Amidst the madness. Great. That went all right, all things considered. Oh. That's kind of trash. Ooh. They will see. Be good soon, yeah. <laughs> oh yes, they all will see. Oh yes, they all will see indeed. Gas cloud grenade. We all know how much I don't like using uh, gadgets in games. Inspect the poster. I, I did it. The grease stained. Tear off the poster. Examine the wall behind it. I was trying to read what it said. Oh, oh, what? Hi, hi. Okay. Thanks. I was still trying to read what it said. The cages have been placed in plain view of the beds. Inside the treasures of blood and excrement. Well, that's not very hospitable now, is it? Oh, part two of Auntie Sean's. Sorry, Artie Sean. Ha ha ha. I swear the Emperor hasn't forsaken me. Guess who just came down the shuttle gangway among the fresh batch prisoners? Cleansing throne damned Willia. Oh. Former administrative clerk, no, the clerk, the very same scum who lost the writ about the missing payment. He's the reason I'm in this hole. Don't know why they threw him in for, but I've never felt better in my life. He's not just this, behind the same bars as me, he's fresh meat, and I'm a venerable optimate respected by everyone in the colony. The wooden just came up with a new improvement. From now on, anyone who underperforms, misbehaves, or causes trouble any other way is to be punished by the community, specifically by the local best and brightest. Yours truly, the Optimates. The last two sods who failed to meet the quota were stripped naked, whipped, and thrown into cages in the big barracks. That's where they have to eat, sleep, and shit now with everyone watching. I thought to myself then, that isn't right, they've taken these punishments too far. But now, just you wait, you piece of grox shit. I'll get you for something. Those cages are calling your name. This guy is going to have a field day, and then oh, it's probably all going to just crash out around him. Good for you, Artie. Progress has been made here. Okay. A flak chest plate. What is that, heavy? It's medium. Sometimes, I wonder to what extent our perception of the Empyrean differs. Well, yours differs greatly to everybody oh, else. I'm glad that I never have to look at it. No offense, Cass, but I'll do just fine without an eyeball in the middle oh, of my forehead. My god. What the actual fuck is going on here? My house would be proud it's of me. It's simple for you by the familiar scent, that of the dark forces of chaos. 
I'm guessing that's super bad. The chopped up slabs of fresh have been thoroughly flesh washed of any blood. Oh my god, what is happening right now? Adishan, what the fuck happened? What happened? Oh, please tell me he didn't die for his revenge. I'm scared. I should have known all that charity from the warden was going to bring nothing but trouble. No noble, no matter how balmy, would pull anything of the sort. But that man... It started with the little things. The warden would come by to talk, as he did. Except he used to ask us questions before. And now he was mostly gushing sermons. Some gibberish about a path to purgation. The sanctity of sacrifice. Seeing with blinded eyes. I listened and nodded. Yes, Master Warden. Of course, Master Warden. He could say whatever rubbish he wanted, as long as the tasty Optimate meals kept coming. I thought that everyone else was doing the same, nodding just to please the big man. Oh, I was wrong. After that, people in the barracks started yapping on about purgation and blindness too. Apparently, us Optimates were no longer just the Warden's favourites. We were, Emperor forgive me, prophets of some kind, who were meant to save the rest of his sorry lot. Or awaken them. Or make them see. Some rubbish along those lines. People were now supposed to make sacrifices to optimates. Yesterday, the sap who slept in the bed under me in the first year here cut off his own damn ear and crawled on his knees toward me. He handed me the ear and begged me not to forsake him when the fateful hour came. What in the throne am I supposed to do with all that ear? With an ear? Why is everyone, every single one, staring at me all the time? The warden said the time was nigh, that fate had truly great things in store for the optimates. I went to look how my good friend Clenson was doing. He hasn't spoken for three months, ever since I had all his top teeth ripped out. Oh, Clenzen. That must be your friend. Yes, okay. Uh, he spoke today. He looked straight at me and said, dead man. I keep, kept hitting him until it hurt. Until it hurt me. Now my fist and feet are all bruised. Half the barracks stood there and watched and prayed. I'm scared. Oh, bro. Patience. This is so my not good. Afraid. Prison guard key. Oh, I'll take that, thank you. Yeah, no, I got that, thank you. Oh my god, this place. What have you all done? Judge by the number of horrid morsels, dozens of victims were slain here. Oh my god. In this tapestry of a oh, that's world, not a. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize that wasn't a door. Oh, and this is what the key's for. I see. My apologies. Uh. Tech use. Genius triumphs. <laughs> oh, they're all locked. Could you be a genius and triumph again? Oh no! Oh no! I'm not ready. My brethren, the dawn is nigh. The optimates will guide us into a new existence. I just want to level, guys. Yes, yes, dear brethren. Have a taste of my steel. Wait, why am I at the front of this herd? Oh, how I've longed for this, my dear brethren. I hope you're normal looking people. Thank the throne. Normal looking faces. Oh, we're all thinking normal. This is great. We get along already. We thought we were going to die here with these nutters. The old man with the gap tooth smile drops his weapon and holds his hands in a placating gesture. Please don't shoot us, your nobleness. Let us speak a word. Well, this is a welcome change. Talking before shooting. Still, Lord Captain, look at this. There's a look of this ragtap bunch hardly inspires trust. Bro, we're in a prison. What more are you expecting from them? Give me a reason not to execute you on the spot. Here's the deal. We're honest, quiet inmates. We didn't want to riot. But, well, sitting it out wasn't really an option either. The warden's lap dogs made short work of those who refused to join the festivities. So we had to, you know, play along. That's all it was. Play. We never meant to have no offence to Governor Med met Medina, nor to the loyal authority of House Winter Scale. Give us a chance, eh? We just want to wait until everything blows over and we can go back to ourselves and quietly do our the rest of our time. Her repentant, honest heretic. How novel. Judging by Abelard's tone, the Central is utterly unimpressed by the old man's ingratiating monologue. The lowborn's speech is mottled with colours that conceal his true darker hues. This old man has a long history of lies, and he is using his wiles on us as well, but... I see no foul corruption or ill intent in his words. Tell me more about the warden and the riot. Pah, why slow your tongue talking about that heretic? But if you insist, here's how it is. The warden of this here prison, the Honorable Master Castelglia, was a crackpot from the start. The previous warden ran things the proper way. 
prayer, one meal a day, work, a punch in the chompers from the guards, work again. But the new one, do you know what his first decree was? He introduced lunches and dinners. By the nine devils, three meals a day. The members obviously stop craving that. <laughs> Things only went downhill from there. The guards quit it with the teeth punching, the warden forbade them. Instead, the overseers started counting which prisoners were digging up more things in the quarry or swinging their pickaxes harder or whatnot. And then, would you believe it, they put together a list of best workers. And if someone on that list also showed good behaviour, that's when they'd get promoted to an optimate. I don't know if it's optimate or optimate, I'm not sure if we're emphasising the A because of the E or not. That's the upper crust among us jailbirds. Well, that's how it was at first. Then the warden decided it's the optimates, not the guards, who should be in charge of punishments and that it wasn't the overseer's job to watch the prisoners work. It was the optimates. Well, let me tell you, that's when these goody two-shoes really started to shine. The guards aren't even in the same league as our dear fellows, the optimates. In the old days, we had maybe five or ten stiffs kicking in a week. And now, well, now you're lucky if we were only fifty. And that wasn't even the end of it. Wooden Castaglia moved out of his chambers to live right in the quarry under the dome. And I think something in his new home really scrambled his brains. He began spouting the wildest things like the optimates are saints who will behold the truth and he started taking them to the quarry. Not all of them returned. The ones who did, you wouldn't recognise them. More beast than man. They were butchering people left and right. Even guards and overseers. The warden himself had armed them. And that's the whole sob story. But I knew it from the moment he let us have dinners. Oh, this won't end well. You are hilarious, sir. I like you. Adira nods knowingly. The old cod is right. Whenever nobles start giving handouts to commoners, something always goes wrong. I take personal offence at that. She notices your look and catches herself. I mean that with all due respect to your leadership. No offence intended. If I spare you, what do I gain from it? Hmm. Now, how can lowly jailbirds hope to thank your noble self? Ah, I have an inkling. You see, us here, we're... How should I put this? Different from the rest of the prisoners in this place. They're all petty thieves from Rikai Minoris, debtors, gutter snipes. They're no one serious. Now we, your nobleness, are cut from a different cloth altogether. We're fortune seekers from the void. They're treasure hunters. Cool. Why don't we tell you we're in Footfall Station? You know Footfall, the only shipyard in the best market in all the Cronus Expanse? Yes, so, where in Footfall you can find some very serious business-minded people and how you can get yourself a very special discount from them on some very special goods. Very well. I shall spare you. No, I don't even want to know about the very special people. I, I have an inkling as to what that is. I'll spare you, sir. Oh, that's so great to hear, your nobleness. Just great. Now there's a true aristocrat, not that warden creep. Now then, your nobleness, where was I? If you're ever in Footful Station, which is oh, a big plot point, yeah, there's this district there, the Shadow Quarters. It's called that because it's located behind the statue of our holiest emperor. I've known folks who called it something else, also on account of it being behind the statue. I'm reading but not listening. Okay, there's a district, the Holy the Shadow Quarters. It's located behind the statue of the Emperor. Oh, ha 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 ha. On account of it being behind the statue, I see. Don't repeat the mistakes, I tell you. Reverend Hieronymus wasted no time finding and burning them all. Forgive an old man for getting distracted. So, football, the Shadow Quarters. There's a bar there, built into the remains of an old ship. And in that bar, in the back room, a certain Riza does her business. Tell her Grandpa Bakval says hello. You'll be her favourite client at the blink of an eye. There we are. Well, your nobleness. We'll be going now, if you don't mind. Heretical. You may go. Iconoclast. I shall not leave you here to die at the hands of the Warden's henchmen. Go. Tell my pilot that it is the Lord Captain's order that you be sent to my ship. You will join my ship's crew. You have my personal partner as a rogue trader. Dogmatic attack. I have changed my mind. By his name, I will not let heretical riffraff such as yourself leave this place alive. Look, we're trying to be iconoclast because that's how I started, so we're gonna commit. Uh, thanks. <laughs> we are most grateful, your nobleness. The old man glances at you somewhat skeptically for the smiles on his. I'd be skeptical too, bro. I'm not judging you for that. Yay! Crew plus three! <laughs> okay. Oh, it was unexpected. That was a very unexpected interaction. My gosh. Okay. Um, I'm assuming the correct way is back over here, right? And this is just a side step. Oh, but that's loot. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no, that's the door. It's the main level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm all good. Jesus. Fucking subtle? Ooh, we have a cloak. Saturated cape. When the wearer uses Endure, what the fuck is Endure? They immediately remove one of the effects on them in the following order. Burning, blue, who's in blue. What is Endure? Dude, I don't even know what that is, but someone can have a pretty cape. I already have a pretty... <gasps> I do have a pretty cape, but like, I don't have a pretty cape, so... Do you want a pretty cape? I already gave you a pretty cape. Jenta! You want a pretty cape. I don't know what Endure is, so... And it doesn't tell me. Oh, you can't see it. Oh well, whatever. You have it nonetheless. Over there. Oh, oh, oh! Thank you, Abelard. What an absolute peach! Uh, a diviner staff, a sanctioned psych or unsanctioned psych, and divination. So this is specifically idea. Uh, oh, but I. Oh, uh, but. But then I lose my lightning, which is like my main attack. Oh, thank God! Another medikit. <clears throat> But, but, but. Oops, that's the multi key. Oops, that's not the stuff. No, that's not the one we just picked up. Where's the one we just picked up? There. I lose the lightning arc and I get. Hmm. The world of his staff gains the consign ability. This ability is also available in its heroic and desperate measures. Yeah, but so was the lightning. Consign. Yeah, but what is it? What is it? It's free, but I don't know what it bloody is. Oh, for fuck's sake, just equip the damn thing. And then we go to abilities. Dina. Features. Consign? Dismantling attack? What? Really? Flick smells in this. Yeah, okay. Wow, good for you. I don't know where you got that from. It's just like a consign ability, but I don't see it. I don't, I don't know what it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know how to see what it is. Did you want something? Here we go. Uh, one enemy creature within a 10 cell radius. Cool down one round. The next hit against the target will be an automatic critical hit. What? Can no longer use attacking abilities on current turn. Minor psychic power. Avowed degradation increases by one. Oh, um, I suppose lightning probably does the same thing. That's kind of insane. Heroic act consign. The next attack against every enemy in combat will be an automatic. Whoo! Does it measure consign? The next hit against every creature in combat, both allies and enemies, will be an. Ooh, allies. Ugh. Their psychic power always triggers perils of the warp. Oh god, I don't. Mm, ha, mm. I suppose it's supposed to be a good thing. I kind of like your stuff, I'm not going to lie. And I'm kind of enjoying the lightning arc. Sorry. I'm going to put that one back on. Uh, where's the door? Here? Oh, did I miss this? Did we not unlock this? What? I thought we did. You must have failed the tech use. Guys, get your asses back over here. Get Everybody get over here, please. Tech use. Applaud my brilliance. And the last gun and an axe. Your trophies were packed as cargo. Whatever that means. Okay, I don't know if we should be going through here, here, or here to get to the main level, uh, but I'm picking this door. So we're officially going through this door. 